While gears are awesome, they're only suit for applications where the input always transfers to the output. Enter the Geneva mechanism. The secret is a cam and some clever geometry. For most of the time when this red disc is rotating, nothing happens. When it gets close to the top, it will enter into the fork of the Geneva mechanism and pull the mechanism along with it exactly one third of a turn, and then the process continues. This transfers constant rotation into intermittent rotation. And this type of mechanism is really useful in manufacturing. Imagine that each of these Sharpies is a different type of drill bit or a cutting tool. Now I have a tool changing device. In a cost effective way, I can turn the cam one wheel spin and change the Sharpie color from blue to green. But you might be asking, well, why not just attach the pen changing mechanism directly to a motor? Well, for one, motors don't have that much holding torque. When this one is spinning, I can just grab it and spin it the other way. With the Geneva mechanism though, once it has completed a rotation, the Geneva wheel sits flush with the cam wheel, this little raised part here. This is that mechanical enforcement I was talking about earlier. If it was linked to a motor, there's a strong chance that while you're drawing or cutting, if the force is greater than what the motor can withstand, the tool head might rotate and then everything would be messed up. With this Geneva drive though, the pieces are geometrically locked together. 